Okay, this is ACED2. This is Creating Equations, uh, Standard 2. Video 1, Writing Linear Equations in Slope-Intercept Form. All right, we have a few terms to know. I'd like you to jot these down in your uh, journals and uh, define them for me. First part, it says write an equation of the line with the given slope and the y-intercept. All right, so this is a pretty basic problem. We have talked about uh, slope-intercept form, and we know that we have y equaling mx plus b, where m is your slope of the line, and b is your y-intercept, where your line is going to cross the y-axis. So if I'm given the information, it is basic substitution. So I know that y is equal to the slope, which is 2. My m is 2, x, and my y-intercept is given as a positive 9. So I put positive 9. And you can do many things with this. You can create a function table and plot some points, or uh, you're going to learn how to take that information and make a line on a grid uh, using that y-intercept and uh, your slope. Uh, one special note that I want you to know, the y-intercept 9 is not the y-value. Okay, so if you're looking over here, we have this y equaling. Um, that is just the y-coordinate of an ordered pair. It is not the intercept where it's going to be crossing your y-axis. So uh, try not to mix those up. This one says write an equation of the line shown. So we see that dark blue line on the grid. We have these random numbers. I see a 3, a 6, and this random ordered pair here. Um, some of the information is necessary, and one piece of it is unnecessary. Can you pick out the piece of unnecessary information if I need to put this into slope-intercept form? Okay, the unnecessary information is this negative 1, 0. Um, that is called the x-intercept, which is not needed for my slope-intercept form. What is needed is the ordered pair that is on my y-intercept. So if I'm substituting in that value, looking at this linear function, I see that my b, my y-intercept, is going to be at positive 1, positive 2. So I can plug that in right now. And I know that my y and my x are all of the coordinates that are going to make up this line. So now I just need to find out my slope. And if you remember, we had that fraction called the rise over the run. So we have the change in the y-axis over the change in the x-axis. So if I'm figuring out my rise, I'm going to take two points on my line. So we'll take this pink point, and it looks like they want us to use this rise up here. So they chose the point all the way up top. Now I don't need my y-intercept anymore. And if I'm rising, I'm going to count the grid lines to get from my lower point to my upper point. So we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So my rise is going upwards. So up means positive. And then to get over to my other, my upper point, I have uh, count the grid lines. 1, 2, 3, and I'm moving to the right, so that would be positive 3. And now I have uh, a reduced possibility. I can reduce this fraction of 6 over 3, so I have a slope of 2. So if I have it in slope-intercept form, the um, equation is y equals 2x plus 2. Now, if you wanted to check it, you can take uh, any random numbers in a function table. Um, so you have your inputs and your outputs. And you can make up a value for x and then plug it into your equation. 
So let's just say uh, x is 0. I'm just going to make that up. 2 multiplied by 0 is 0. Added to 2 would get me my output. And that 0, 2 should be on my line. Let's check that out. So here is 0. I count uh, upwards 1, 2. And lo and behold, that is a solution to this equation. It is also going to be on my uh, line. And you could check other points if you'd like. All right, the next one says, write an equation of the line that passes through the given points. And right now, as you know, we've been working with slope-intercept form. So the two things I need are, you guessed it, the slope and the y-intercept. Are there any um, items, any ordered pairs up here that help you right away get you a portion of your form? Does anything jump out at you? OK, so the thing that jumps out at me is this ordered pair right here. Since I have a 0, negative 5, I'm thinking all the way back to the lesson that we did on finding the intercepts of the line. And I know that if I have a x value that is 0 and a y value that is negative 5, I have my y-intercept right here. It's just staring at me in the face because I know a y-intercept is going to occur when my x value is at a 0. So I can quickly fill in a portion of my equation. So my b, my y-intercept is negative 5. And now all I need to do is figure out what the slope, my m, is. All right, we have also learned that before. Can you think about what we did? Correct. We took our slope equation and we said we're going to take our change in the y values and divide it by the change in our x values. That's our rise over the run. Okay, so what are we going to have here? Uh, you get to designate your uh, x sub 1s and 2s and just substitute right into your formula and you will get your m. Let's check that out. So if I call these my x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2, we can uh, plug that right in here. We have, let's just do it underneath, m equaling y sub 2 is negative 5 minus y sub 1, which is negative 7. My x sub 2 is 0, and my x sub 1 is positive 2. All right, let's do the math on that. Add the opposite. We should have a 2 over negative 2, and we know that that reduces to a negative 1 slope. So if I'm making this my slope in my equation, I can put negative 1 in front of the x, but we have mentioned many times that you don't need to put the 1 in front of a variable. It's understood. So we have a negative 1x minus 5. OK, last one. Write an equation for the linear function f with the given value. So we've talked about um, our function notation of f of x equaling y. So we know that we have two ordered pairs here named negative 2, 6, and 0, negative 4. And again, we're going into this slope-intercept form. Anything jump out at you right away? Correct. We have half of our information right here. I have my y-intercept at negative 4, and I am just searching now for my slope. So we're going to do it just like we did the last problem. Use your slope formula. Okay, so negative 4. 
minus 6 over 0 subtracted by negative 2. So we have negative 10 over 2, which gets us negative 5. So we have the equation y is equal to, let me write that out a little better, y is equal to negative 5x minus 4. And there is your slope-intercept form using the given information. Okay, in your journals, I'd like you to define the given terms on page two of the flip chart. Write a few sentences on what you learned from this video. If you have any questions, please mark uh, the spot where you uh, were a little confused. We could answer those in class. And I do want you to realize that there are many more examples that we can talk about. Uh, in class, I'm going to talk about using di maybe mapping diagrams and function tables to create equations using given information. And we're going to be uh, setting those up in slope-intercept form also.